Today we're going to be talking about this. This was me about two years ago. I was 18 and I was studying, I was working, I was running a business or starting a business and I was gymming. Now, I think the reason that a lot of you guys are struggling to juggle gym and work and studying is because you are in a very all over the place part of your life. You don't have a nine to five. Maybe you're waitering, maybe you're busy studying, maybe your sleep schedule's inconsistent. And because you don't have this structured routine, you feel like you have to battle yourself. And I wanna share with you two mental frameworks, the Jenga framework and the Lego framework. And I used to be a Jenga guy. I used to think that you've got to, you know, place all your habits into this long routine throughout the day. So you wake up at six o'clock, you go for a morning run, you have some eggs and you have a black coffee and you fast and then you go hit the gym. And I thought that you had to build your day out as if it was a Jenga tower. But the thing with Jenga towers is that if you remove a block, it becomes unstable. And if you remove another block, there's a chance that it crumbles, okay? And you might be thinking, Ben, what on earth are you talking about? Why are you talking about a Jenga tower? I'm just trying to hit the gym. I'm just trying to get jacked. I'm just trying to look good for the ladies. And I'm trying to, you know, be strong and feel good in the mirror. Well, let's use an example, right? You are on a diet and you eat a donut. And then you think, okay, but I've already eaten bad food. Maybe I should have a little bit more. That is an example of the Jenga tower unraveling and coming crumbling down. So let's say that your routine is you wake up at six o'clock, you study for your tests until seven, then you have a black coffee, you have breakfast, you go for um, a bit of a morning walk. Now, what happens if you wake up at seven o'clock instead of six? What happens if you stumble, if you, if you drop the ball? Then all of a sudden you, you're frantic, you're running to try and build a new routine on top of your human behavior, that you're not gonna be perfect. So what I like to do is I like to do something called the Lego strategy, where instead of building a Jenga tower, you build a Lego tower. Now, what do I mean by this? A Lego tower is sticky, meaning that if you remove a block, it's still gonna be standing, okay? Which is really cool. And what's awesome is that you can then take that block and just put it on top, chup, because Lego sticks on the tower. Even if there's a block missing from the base, you can just put it, boop, right on top. So how do you do this? Well, this is something that I talked to about the guys inside of Green Launch, um, which is a men's community here in South Africa. We help young guys who are working, studying, and wanting to leave the bad habits behind, wanting to level up in the gym, in their social life, in their business life, in their career, in their relationships. And it's me and my brother. You're more than welcome to apply with the link below, but I wanna share with you modular habits. So think of this like a, as like a free sneak peek. So a modular habit, what is that? So you're currently building Jenga towers. And if I remove a block, that Jenga tower comes crashing down. Whereas if I place a Lego block, a Lego block, I want you to think of it as an airtight vessel of a habit. So for example, an airtight vessel of a habit is for me, I like to do a minimum of 15 burpees in the morning. So that when I wake up, Maybe I do it in 15 minutes, maybe I do it in 30 minutes, maybe I do it in the first hour. I want to get 15 burpees done. The reason is because it gets my legs going, it gets my chest going, it gets my arms going, and it gets my, my, my breathing going, right? I'm then breathing properly, you know, my heart's going. So I'm not feeling like, uh, like I'm just waking up, right? And another example might be that you like to study. So you're an academic and you're like, cool, 
Ben, I want to be focusing for three hours in the morning from nine o'clock until noon. I like to study for my tests. Cool. Block that out. That then becomes a Lego block. Meaning that, let's say that you, you miss it. Ah, oh, okay, I, I couldn't do nine o'clock. Okay, well, I've still got a three hour airtight vessel that I'll just move until one until four. Or you're someone who wants to run. You know, you, you like going for 30 minute runs in the morning. Okay, well, this morning you're feeling drained. You just know that you can't do it. Oh, well, I'll, I'll visit it later in the day. You know, I'm, I'm at college the whole day. Let me just go for a 30 minute run from six until 6.30. So what I'm sharing with you is that you need to be adaptable because if you aren't adaptable, you're gonna continue experiencing this Jenga tower crashing. And we are humans, we are higher forms of life. We are, we are the ultimate animals of the world and we need to be able to adapt because even animals adapt, you know, birds adapt, lions adapt, pandas adapt, bears adapt, bees adapt. And if you can't adapt because you're trying to stick to some rigid schedule, of course you're gonna fail. You need to be able to adapt. You've got to be able to swap habits here and there and there. And eventually you'll be able to build a Lego warship. You'll be able to build a Lego Star Wars warship, okay? And I set minimums for myself, you know? I don't go a day without exercise. So even if I miss in the morning, I'll make up for it. I, dr I like to drink two to three cups of coffees a day. And I've got some rules with myself. I can have a coffee any time of day, as long as I've been awake for an hour, and as long as it's not eight hours before bed. So I've got some flexibility, but I also have boundaries with myself, you know? Like, I, I don't like to work within the first 30 to 60 minutes of the day. I like to read, I like to do my thing, but the agreement that I have with myself is that I'm still gonna work 10 hours. Like I'm still gonna get stuff done and I might block it. I might build myself two hour blocks, you know, five two hour blocks. And I like to plan, I'm a big planner. I use a calendar system, so I track pretty much every single day of my life. Um, what I did that day, what my biggest wins were, and it's very similar to the journaling system we use inside of Green Launch, where we track your weekly wins, your weekly setbacks, and what next week's big goal is, and how each one kind of gives you XP or takes points away. Um, we've gamified it, and I encourage you to do the same. So even if you're not inside of Green Launch, make sure you're journaling, make sure you're using your calendar. It's a powerful tool. And that's pretty much how I did it, gents. So, just to give you a sense, right? This this was me, bro. This was me. Look at that. Look at that. And... This is me doing a bit of boxing. And... Doing a bit of rock climbing. Because I, I like to be a bit of a hybrid. A hybrid, like this is me and my girlfriend doing a bit of a run. So I don't like to only stick to the gym, you know, I'll do some skipping, I'll do some boxing. This is me benching 100 kilo. Um, this is me eating some protein flapjacks. Like, gents, you can live a life that is, you know, modular. Like, you don't have to, this is what I used to do. I used to freaking stick to like meal prep and stuff and I look like this, okay? But when I started living with a bit of a modular system, I was able to actually get shredded, okay? And the reason a modular system is so powerful is because you become adaptable, you know? Like, and it's something that, that kind of, yeah, I, I, I struggle when I talk to people and they're like, no, it needs to be this way. I've got to, you know, wake up at this time and do this thing and da 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 But ultimately there's going to be days where you miss it or there's going to be days where you're with a friend or you stay up late or it was a special occasion it was a birthday it was a party it was a bri it was a public holiday there's going to be some weird day that throws you off and the only way to be consistent knowing that you're never going to get that day back in your life is to build modular habits even if you feel hung over and you feel like you've lost the day 
you can always do, you know, 50 push-ups, 50 squats, 50 sit-ups, and maybe fast that day, and maybe try, squeeze out an hour of learning, reading, practicing a language. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. It's been real, and there's a lot to get to. Ciao. Take care of yourself, eh?